Hello my darlings and darklings and welcome back to the Simply Witchery YouTube channel. I'm Lethe and today I am bringing a collective reading for the air signs. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sorry. <laughs> I have to go through the list sometimes. Anyway, this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this week I am using the Cardcaptor Soccer Oracle deck and the Ostara Tarot to do this reading. Um, let's go through our disclaimers before we get started. One, make sure you check in with your moon and rising sign as well as your sun sign because you are not just your sun sign. Two, this is a collective reading, so not everything will resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with our oracle card for the week. Divinity, what is the energy for this week for my Gemini Libra Aquarius air signs. What is the energy for this week for Gemini Libra Aquarius? Ooh, okay, so I pulled the sand. Huh, interesting. What am I getting from this card for you? Mm, this card is about the slow passage of time and being in every moment as you live through this week. So you want to pay attention. You want to be really grounded in your moment. You don't want to think too big picture, too far down the line. It's all about the now for you this week, air signs. So let's see what the tarot has to say. How can Gemini, Libra, Aquarius best support this energy this week? How can Gemini, Libra, Aquarius best support this energy this week? One more. How can air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, best this one, support this energy this week? Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So, I pulled for you the Emperor, the High Priestess, Justice, the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so the first thing that jumps out of me is this Three of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting a Romeo and Juliet kind of vibe from it. So you can best support the sand energy by um, being patient and waiting until you have all the facts before you act which requires you to be in the moment, to be conscious of where you are and where you want to go and what you need to get there, to get from this moment to the next. So you can do that by not entertaining fantasy in this um, Seven of Cups, um, by um, being connected to justice, so be fair um, to yourself and to others. Um, recognize that sometimes it just takes time and that the best thing that you can do is be present. And in order to keep yourself present, you wanna connect with the high priestess who is the intuition. And if you're connected with your intuition, you're connected to the present moment. Um, and this emperor is interesting. I'm not quite sure where he fits. This emperor, it kind of leans into that same three of pentacles um, idea is you need to have all the facts, to have all the knowledge that you need before you can um, take action. Um, so that is how you can best support that knowledge is, is um, staying grounded in your intuition and uh, making sure you have all the facts before you act. 
So how will my air signs be challenged by this energy this week? How will air signs be challenged by this energy this week? How will Gemini, Libra, Aquarius be, let's take all of those, be challenged this week? Okay, that feels good to me. That feels good. Let's see. The Hermit, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. So, you will be challenged by this sand energy. First and foremost, because of this desire to move forward, this desire to um, just leap forward even if you don't have all the information. Because that's going to be your instinct um, when you're met with whatever situation that um, comes up in this area this week. Um, you're gonna want to move on. You're wanna. You're gonna want to start traveling. You're gonna start get going immediately, but you can't panic. You can't let that instinct um, be the one that wins, because what you need is the hermit and the empress. You need to put down roots. You need to turn within. You need to examine yourself and what you know, um, so that you can see those gaps and fill those gaps with knowledge comes in the in this ace of pentacles you need um to let things develop um because the the pentacles for me the ace of pentacles the most pure form of earth energy is um the moment of um conception of an idea i suppose so you need to wait for that flash of um life and understanding before you take that um, Six of Swords movement. So you need to spend time with the Hermit and the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles before you can move. Um, so that's how you'll be challenged, which we pretty much covered in the how you can support the energy, but good to have confirmation. So that is my reading for my air signs this week. If this reading resonated with you, please let me know down below in the comments like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me i post a reading every tuesday i post a podcast episode on fridays and whenever i find inspiration for other videos i will post a third video during the week as well um yeah so i will see you next week for another reading have an excellent week air signs